Hello. In this video, Francisca and I will talk about the ethical concerns on the creation, use, and distribution of three-dimensional digital replicas of human bones according to the opinions expressed by the greater public and specialists. Using three-dimensional technology, such as 3D photogrammetry, 3D surface scanners, and CT scans, has changed bioanthropological research forever. Digital replicas of human bones can be zoomed in and out, rotated, manipulated, measured, segmented, reconstructed, and visualized in three dimensions. So a 3D digital replica becomes independent from the original bone. And the creation of 3D models also extended the research access to human osteological material worldwide. However, some of these models can be easily assessed online by the greater public. But the big question is, what is a 3D replica of a human bone? Is it just an object, since it is a replica, not composed of the same elements as a bone? Or should it be considered a bone, as it can be identified as a specific bone and it can be manipulated and analyzed as we can do with a human bone? Therefore, if all replicas of bones should be equal to a bone, should they have the same ethical considerations? To explore this, we created an online anonymous survey of 20 non-mandatory questions and asked Portugal residents their opinion on the matter. In this presentation, we are going to deconstruct the question if all 3D replicas of bones should be equal to a real bone and therefore with the same ethical considerations. 312 residents in Portugal filled up the survey. 57% were female. 41% male, and 2% belong to the LGBTQ plus community. The youngest participant was 18 years old and the oldest 75. On average, participants were 39 years. Most of our sample had higher education, did not follow religion, and were considered specialists. Occupations more likely to engage in the production of 3D models of human bones, such as archaeologists, anthropologists, biologists, and health professionals were grouped as specialists. Should 3D digital replicas be considered as being the same as the original human bone and thus with the same ethical considerations? Opinions divide regarding the status of the 3D models concerning the actual bone for the total sample, with 42 seeing it as the same, while another 42% regarded them as being different. Opinions diverge according to gender, age, religion, and education. Most females see it as being the same as a bone, while males consider it different. Individuals with a high school diploma or lower see 3D model as not being a bone, while participants with higher education have opposing opinions. Individuals with a religion consider it being the same, and non-religious as being different. Both specialists and non-specialists agree that the 3D models are not the same as a human bone. Participants without an opinion on the matter were older than the other participants. When asked if they would be okay with their skeleton and those of family members being 3D digitized after death, the majority say they would agree with it. When asked what the 3D models of human remains should be displayed online for, The majority put a great emphasis on research anthropology, biology, anatomy, and medicine, followed by the greater public, but only for educational purposes. Should available online digital 3D models of human bones possibly be downloaded for personal use by the greater public? Following the previous question, participants considered that the 3D models of human bones should not be available to download by the greater public for personal use. Should there be some control over how the 3D models of human bones are disseminated? Most participants agreed that the 3D models should not be freely available on any online platform. Instead, the models should be assessed through registration and logging. When asked which 3D models of skeletal remains can be available online for the greater public, 
The period of the skeletons was not considered a factor in creating 3D digital replicas, as long as their identity, if known, is not disclosed. Opinions divide regarding the status of the 3D models as an actual bone or an object. For example, residents in Portugal, following a religion, considered being the same as a bone, but non-religious participants as being different. Although, according to a quite square test, he showed that this difference of opinion was not significant. Specialists and non-specialists regard 3D model as being an object and not a human bone. Regardless of how 3D models of human bones are perceived, participants showed a positive opinion on the creation, use, and dissemination of 3D models of human bones, if it follows a certain criteria. Most participants view research and educational uses of 3D models favorable, as long as their identity is not disclosed. They consider that access to the 3D models should be restricted behind a registration and login, but not available for download by the greater public. These results will help in the formation of guidelines in biological anthropology, bioarchaeology, and other disciplines that use 3D models in teaching and research. Even though the link for the survey was shared in a diverse range of Facebook groups, such as nature, arts, and photographic groups, the sample was not diverse, and thus, any conclusions may not represent most residents in Portugal. Before we finish, we'll leave the question, how do you use and share a 3D digital model of human bones? Leave your answers in the comments below. Thank you for your attention.